I'm going to demonstrate cleaning the bib version of the milk shop machine. We have three buttons, the green on the left and the blue on the right dispense button and the centre cleaning button. Underneath the cleaning button are two indicator lights, the left hand for cleaning, the right hand for rinsing. Each light will come on for the equivalent cycle. We place two jugs or a four litre vessel underneath the taps ready for cleaning fluid. We take our cleaning tank and fill to the bottom of the handles with cold water and to the top of the handles with hot boiling water or water from your water boiler if you have one. That approximates a cleaning solution at 60 degrees which is how hot we need it to break down the fats. Our recommended cleaner is Rinza alkaline version and we use two measures of this so 120 millilitres per tank. Next we need to connect the cleaning tank to the fridge unit. We unconnect each milk bag from the ports in the machine, place the tank inside Then connect every port to the tank. It's important to do this even though all ports may not be being used because the pipe work is connected inside the machine and it must all be cleaned for every cleaning operation. Shut the fridge door and then come to the machine font to activate the cleaning cycle. We hold down the cleaning button for five seconds and wait for the second LED to light. The machine is now in cleaning mode, ready to be activated. We press the button one further time and the cleaning cycle will start. This will flush out cleaning fluid intermittently and take roughly eight minutes. Once the machine has dispensed all the cleaning fluid, it will stop and automatically go into rinse mode. You can see here by the yellow light. At this point, we empty the cleaning fluid down a drain, replace the vessel under the tap, ready for the rinse cycle. At this point, you should clean any milk drips from the fridge and from all the ports to keep the system hygienic. And replace the cleaning tank which has been filled with cold, clean tap water and connect all four ports once more. Now it's time to activate the rinse cycle by pressing the yellow button once more. This will take two minutes to rinse the whole system, but you can pause the rinse cycle at any point by pressing the button and then pressing it once more to restart it. Once the rinse cycle is complete, you can empty the fluid down a drain it's time to check the nozzles. Particularly if fattier milk types are used, there may be some residue remaining in the sieves. You should remove the sieves from the nozzle casing and clean the assembly in hot soapy water or the rinds of cleaning fluid if heavily soiled. Replace the nozzles then the machine is ready to use again once the cleaning tank has been disconnected.